welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more Let's Play Secret of Mana. I'm joined as always by my same as last time squad of Jake Sheehan and Yancey. When we last left off, I said I was going to do some level grinding. I have changed my mind. Uh, there are a few reasons for that. Primarily, I forgot how ridiculous it was to uh, level grind the way that I had in mind. Um, that's pretty much the main reason. Uh, so I'll be saving those for bonus videos. Uh, let's just go ahead and get started. Um, I'll try to go over as much of uh, as to why um, it is so ridiculous in a little bit. But first things first, we I, I kind of need to explain how to get to the Mana Fortress. It's a little tricky. You need to, to raise pretty much as high as Flaming will go. And then uh, you can start pointing at the Mana Fortress and then slowly get closer and closer and then once Flammy starts rising up you let go of any button and that's how you land there if you keep pressing up you'll fly right past it it's kind of weird uh, but here on the Mana Fortress uh, there are several enemies that we need to kill in order to get the remaining orbs uh, for all our weapons uh, if you've noticed none of our weapons have uh, fully leveled up none of them have all eight of their orbs um, the sword, of course, only has seven, uh, but that's that, that's the sword. The remaining seven weapons can reach level eight. Um, if you have gotten all the orbs, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, uh, you should have five of those seven weapons at level seven, and two of the weapons, the gloves and the axe, I have notes in front of me for all this because this can get quite complicated, the gloves and the axe, they should be level six still. Um, the remaining orbs are all found here in the Mana Fortress from random enemies, not from bosses, uh, which makes it even more difficult because they are a rare drop from bosses, from the random enemies, not from bosses, which would always drop them. So that makes this somewhat ridiculous. <laughs> That's the best way I can put it. This fiend head right here, not, not the ninja, the giant face, that guy, he drops... What does he drop? He drops axe orbs. Now, if you remember right, <laughs> you need two of them. This guy and this guy is the only one that drops them. Well, there there will be other fiend heads, I should say. Uh, it's not like he's the only one on the map, but only fiend heads drop axe orbs, and you need two of them. Uh, I've found I I haven't looked at the exact numbers for every enemy, uh, but. I found that most enemies drop at a rate of 4 out of 64. That's the chance of them dropping a chest, is 4 out of 64. For math nerds like me, 1 out of 16, because that's an improper fraction, 4 out of 54. 64, sorry. For that, sorry, I, I, I need to explain this, so we're, we're going to stand here for a little bit because we need to explain further what's inside. For what is in the chest to be the rare drop of an enemy, I believe is either 6 out of 64 or 7 out of 64, depending on the enemy. So if you look at 4 out of 64, multiply that by 6 or 7 out of 64, you're looking at roughly, roughly a 1 in 200 chance of when you kill an enemy that he drops the item that you want. And once again, all of the remaining nine orbs are here in the Mana Fortress dropped as a rare drop. Good luck getting all the orbs. Uh, like I said, you need two from the fiend head there. These guys here are metal crabs. They also drop an orb. Uh, they drop the bow's orb, the last bow's orb. You only need one of them from these guys, but still, you need you need to kill roughly 200. You'll notice that nothing that I've killed has dropped a chest so far, let alone dropped a chest with an orb in it. And I think that's pretty much it. I'll try to go over the um, the highest armor as we go along too, but I don't think the metal crabs drop anything. The only thing that I know off the top of my head is that the um, the griffin hands in the pure lane back in the mana fortress, they're the ones that drop the griffin helm, which is the best um the best helmet for a for Jake for for the boy here. All right, we've got tsunamis here. Tsunamis, <laughs> very very important. They also drop an orb. Uh, the tur the turt lance doesn't, but 
These guys right here, the tsunamis, they drop an orb. Luckily, there, there'll be quite a few of them that spawn here. Um, I'll, okay, jeez. On top of um, trying to get all the orbs, if you want a perfect party and try to level things up all the way, you cannot be above level 70. Once you hit level 70, whatever your weapon levels are, are stuck that way. And the reason that works is because your weapon levels, uh, the experience that you get for weapon levels is based on the difference between your level and the enemy's level. And once you are two levels higher than the enemy, you will no longer gain any weapon level experience. So if you're level 71, whatever your weapons levels are, that's where they're going to be. You're not going to find an enemy that's level 69 or higher. Here's another fiend head. Um, I don't think the... Oh, tsunamis. Do they drop any of the items? The the armor? I don't think they do. Let me keep on trying to kill these guys. Damn it. Poison. Poison most foul. <laughs> Hit him. There we go. Down he goes. Alright, the... No, no. They don't drop anything. Uh, actually, they drop amulet rings, but those aren't the best things in the game, so... Uh, you, you don't need to worry about them. Let's head up here, and here we find, uh, oh, we do have a new enemy. <laughs> the Wolf Lord up there. Wolf Lords are very, very important. Not only do they drop the best, um, I don't know, accessory? Uh, we'll go with accessory in the game, uh, which is the Fairy Ring, which all three characters can use. They're also the ones that you have to get Gloves Orbs from. And you have to get two of those. So, hooray. Uh, there's there's a lot of information I need to go through here, unfortunately. Alright, these things, they need to be hit twice in order to go away, which is kind of weird. Alright, now we're up against more of these tsunamis. Um, so, that's three of the seven types of weapon orbs accounted for. I need to be Shion in order to move on here. I gotta go through a lot of information today, I must say. Uh, magic levels, however, magic levels are pretty easy, pretty standard to go through. Uh, if you're wondering um, if things reach level 9, they do not ever reach level 9. They reach um, 8 colon 99. That is, that is the highest that um, any level can go, weapon or magic. Uh, when it comes to weapons, there's really no... I don't want to say no point. But there's no practical point uh, to leveling up anything past level 8-0. Uh, you can get them up to 899, but it really doesn't do anything for you. Um, magic, however, there is a very good reason to put things up to 899 if if you want to, and I'll go over that once again later. Um, I'm, I'm going through enough information as it is right now. All right, let's head down here. I think we need to go down here. Oh, these guys again. Alright, with those guys gone, we can continue on down here. Left is a dead end. This way, however, is not. Uh, more fiend heads here. We do have quite a bit more to talk about. Now, try my best to get all the information out as, well, as drawn out as I can. So it's just not a wall of text of information about what you need to do in order to get a perfect setup in this game. Which I know not everybody is interested in. Um, I am interested in it, though. Uh, so I will at least go over how it is done. They do write um, walkthroughs and, and frequently ask questions, FAQs, about exactly how to do that. And here is another important enemy. This is a Whimper. Uh, Whimpers drop the Javelin Orbs. As I fall asleep, so it gives me a little opportunity to go over what you can get from them. Uh, they will also drop Power Suit, uh, the best armor in the game uh, for Jake. Uh, not for anybody else, just for Jake. And as you can see, he didn't drop anything. Uh, pretty much your chances of getting the other thing uh, from them, uh, the thing that is not an orb, is pretty much 4 out of 64. If they drop the chest, chances are that it's going to be uh, that. If you're if you're going for the orb, you're going to get the armor. You know what I mean? Uh, let's head up here. Step on this switch, and we can continue on. Fight more tsunamis, uh, which... Yeah, I've gone over tsunamis before. I'm nervous about missing one of these, though. I'm I'm very nervous about it. Um, we've gone. 
gone over hitting Captain Dox, that's for sure. Ugh. Die. Die. Yes. No. Die. <laughs> Damn it, Captain Duck. Why don't you die faster? There we go. There we go. And... Oh. Okay. Yeah, the one damage. I hate these guys because they draw out the battle. They're not doing that much damage to me. Oh, I could just run past them. Why don't I run past them more often? Alright, and here is another whimper once again. Very, very important. Or you could just use wall and stall, because I'm not doing anything like that right now. And step on this switch, which transports us to boss time, and we are up against Buffy, the vampire. Not the vampire slayer, just the vampire. Uh, it is weak to Lumina, but I'm not going to use Lumina because Xion uses Lumina. I'm going to be using Gym Missile, because Gym Missile works pretty damn well for me. It does, what is it doing? Yeah, about 250. About 250. Or 130. What the hell? But we're just going to spam the shit out of it until it's dead. Sound good to you? Sound good to me. I'll try to heal along the way, too. Leaden Glad does not... Oh, tangles him! What? You would think that would petrify. What do I know? Lead. Stone. I guess they're different. Magic Absorb should help out a little bit here. How much are we getting? Uh, 25! Very nice. Didn't look like any of that transferred, though. There we- Now it transfers. What took you so damn long? That's crap. Uh, spamming magic really is the best way to- to go through this game, unfortunately. Uh, should you want to, um... You could charge up your attacks, but I feel like it takes longer. I've been kind of going for for speed over speed and efficiency over necessarily a perfect setup. But if you want the perfect setup, you gotta get here around level 45 to be honest with you. But I wanted to level up my magic, so I'm up to too damn high. That's how high up I am. Uh, there are still ways for me to get the, uh, the 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 weapon levels up the way that I want. At, at this point, even though I am so high of a level, uh, but it is it is not really worth it to be honest with you. Uh, it is it is not worth the time of day. Um, at at this point, uh, it's just so much easier to go through and, and spam your way to victory and defeat Buffy and get a level up on top of that, which is always nice. Way to go! And you'll notice we do not get an orb out of that. We also don't get the message that we leveled up, but we clearly did. I heard the little ding.